is Dr. Bridge. I'm an assistant professor at University of Central Florida. I am one of the newest forensic science faculty members. Um, and my focus is surrounding sexual assaults, particularly sexual lubricant analysis. Um, and that goes towards, in the event, uh, biological evidence is not collected at the crime scene, we could still do something with lubricant analysis and link a victim to a potential suspect, or uh, maybe like a condom wrapper or things of that nature. I'm also focused on uh, organic and inorganic gunshot residue, and I'm looking into getting into other areas, maybe fingerprints analysis um, and explosive analysis. But currently I'm focused on sexual lubricants and gunshot residues. Currently, the projects that I'm working on involve differentiating silicone-based, water-based, edible oil and condom lubricants in an event to identify minor components that can um, differentiate samples based on warming, cooling additives, flavors, and even colors. And we're, using, we're doing this based on a technique called direct analysis in real time, time of flight mass spectrometry, which is a high resolution mass spectrometer. It's really simple to use. It takes three seconds and you already have a mass spectrum. And this is really kind of cool because we could see colors and we can see flavors as well as the lubricant itself all in one second. So I have several students working on that. On the flip side, I'm also working on identifying metal contributor that is observed in muzzle discharge residue and primer residue left after a firing event. Um, and this is interesting because we want to be able to determine, can we say something about the cartridge case just from the muzzle discharge? Can we say that there was a nickel plating and identify where that nickel plating may have come from, whether the priming case, the cartridge case, or the anvil, assuming it is plated in nickel? versus the more traditional brass um, cups, anvils, and cases. Um, so I have a couple of students working on that. A uh, third project that I'm working on involves creating a organic and inorganic gunshot residue test that can be used in the field for immediate analysis of a potential shooter and sent directly to the lab for the more um, traditional scanning electron microscope analysis that most people are aware of. So those are the three projects that I'm currently working on. Um, so what's kind of cool, and I think my students like this too, is that I have all of my students working on some research project. And my expectation is that each one of them is responsible for their project. So we have a pretty good dialogue back and forth. I don't just dictate everything that they should do. I expect them to come to me and say, hey, this is what I think we should do, and we can discuss that and its viability. And uh, right now I have uh, a postdoc associate, uh, two master students, and five undergraduate researchers. And all of them are doing a really great job on their research project, doing presentations both at the National Center of Forensic Science at the University of Central Florida and at external conferences such as the American Academy of Forensic Science and the National Institute of Justice Conference. So my goal is to get not only exposure for our research, but get exposure for our students to the field and how well their research is accepted by um, field members. 